I've received a package from Eddie Guevara from the House of the Unusual. I've received this several days ago, but I've been waiting to actually open it up. Um, when I started the uh, monster robot project on the House of the Unusual forum, uh, Eddie said to me, you know, when you're done with this, I, I want to buy it from you. And I said, Eddie, I don't, I don't want any money for this. But I said, you know, there's some items that I've been looking for for my collection and, uh, you know, maybe we can trade some stuff. And he's, he agreed to that. And after chatting on the phone a few times, and I, I sent him a list of items that I've been looking for to add to my collection. And so uh, I'm going to, all I've done so far is cut the tape on this just to save a little time. Okay, so Eddie did say in an email that he he sent me a couple of magazines. Uh, and this is, actually, this is one, uh, a comic book that he sent me. This is uh, Supergirl. I know why he sent this. This is um, from February of 92. And I asked Eddie if he would send me an, an ad from when he was, when he was running his uh, ads in the comic books. And this is... This is one that he was doing. He said uh, in February 92 and 93. Let me see if I can find the ad. This is when Eddie was running the Fun Factory. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So here's the ad when, when Eddie was running his mail order business. And these are all the classic gags and magic tricks that you could purchase from, you know, 60s and 70s. And Eddie resurrected this industry. And look, you can see on the bottom, here's that famous seven-foot ghost that Eddie's actually still making it. You can get it on, on eBay in the House of the Unusual. And these are all the classic gags. Joy Buzzard, fake vampire blood. Uh, these are all those items. And so, thank you, Eddie. I was looking for that ad. I was looking for one of yours. <laughs> okay, well, I, I'm, I'm hoping I know why Eddie sent this. This is um, Boys Life magazine, and there's a item in the Boys Life magazine that, oh, wait a minute, oh yes, wait, hold on. So I had asked Eddie if he had the plans for the air car, and he has actually sent them to me. So here's, here are the, the, the uh, plans I believe for the air car that you could build. And these plans were advertised in Boys Life magazine. And let's see, Eddie, usually in the back of the magazine, there's ads. Yep, here it is. So here's the ad for those cars. It's a hovercraft that you actually build. As a kid, I was always building things. And this is called the Air Car. And for many years, this was in Boys Life magazine. I used to get Boys Life magazine when I was in the Boy Scouts. And, and there is actually, you can see that there's the plans. And they also, in Boys Life, they sold a lot of uh, different novelty items. Here's Gardner's ad on the bottom. You can see that the right there for different gags and jokes and things like that. And so this is the plans. I've got to open this up. Oh, wow. These are cool. This is, these are the actual, I've, I've never seen these and I've, I haven't never seen one on eBay. These are the plans for the air car. This, these is offered 1975. David Ross is the original. And, and as a kid, this was so allure, attractive to try to get this and build this. Wow, these are really cool. These are nice plans. You can see some plans shows you how to actually make it. I, w I often wondered how many, how many kids actually got this and built this. Maybe we'll try it and we'll, we'll it'd be another project on the, on the House of the Unusual Forum. Oh, Eddie's getting even with me for the peanuts that I put in his package on the Monster Robot project. Uh, <laughs> here's the classic gag. This is a crazy, crazy faucet. This has a, has a suction cup on one end, 
this is probably uh, Hong Kong or, or it's a Taiwan item, and uh, you could put it on, you know, you could put it on a refrigerator, you could put it on an automobile. Here's all the different ideas they give you. Classic, classic gag, the crazy faucet. The, the kid on the bottom, he's, he's got it on his head. That's great. That's great. Uh, the chips, Eddie, we got the chips all over the place. Let me just get rid of some of these chips. Lots of, lots of chips, Eddie. <laughs> Peanuts get about, they get all over the place. Okay. Oh, all right. So I, this is one of the items that I've been looking to add to my collection. This is, um, this item is from Fish Love, the company Fish Love. It's called a spook hand. And what you could do is you, it's just a hand. This one's got, is a little deformed, but you can blow them back up and it's got adhesive on the back and you can put this in different places. I like the, the lady thinks somebody's in her, somebody's in her trunk and their hand got stuck. It's got, that's got really nice graphics on it. I like the graphics on fish love items. This one is uh, from 1959 on this particular item. That's cool. That's neat. I was looking for that. I could not find that. Oh, wow. Eddie. <laughs> I would say this was at the top of my list, along with the, along with the air car plans. Oh, Eddie, I can't believe you sent this. These are the original x-ray specs. These are the, I, I had put this on my list to Eddie. And I was looking for the plastic frame. These are the originals. Um, th these are from the Trans Science Corporation. These are dated 1964 and 1988. Uh, one of the other uh, uh, forum members, Todd, is actually uh, collects Trans Science Corporation items. And these are the ones they sell now are cardboard. These are the original. I, if you could see that, these are the plastic frame ones. Um, and these are hard to find I and mean, they're on eBay. They're very, very expensive. And these are the original. I, if you look, you can see the hole in the center here. Uh, how these work is there's, uh, I believe chicken feathers or bird feathers in there and they would diffract the light. The newer ones, I think work on a little different principle. They work on, I think a diffraction principle, but look at the graphics on this. Is this like the ultimate mail order item when, as a kid, when you got this, you could see how this was very, very attractive. You, the, 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 this guy thinks that he can actually see through clothes. It's actually an optical illusion. And you can see here some of the advertisement on the back. This is a great item, a classic item. If you collect mail order mysteries, uh, uh, Kirk Damaris has a book and he talks about all these items. A lot of them in the book are from Eddie, actually. Wow, thank you, Eddie. That is fantastic. I've been looking for these for a really long time. I had them as a kid, and, and of course they get broken. That's fantastic. <laughs> Another classic item, the magic knife through the head. This is... There's a lot of versions. Uh, if you remember, Steve Martin had the arrow through the head. That was a part of his comedy act. And the graphics on this package are really nice also. With the, with the actual poor guy, he's got the, actually got the knife through his head on there. Wow, that's great. That's a, those, that's a Hong Kong item. Oh, let's see. Ah, all right. This is an item that I had on my list from Eddie. This is a, this is a classic Franco-American item. I was looking for this. This is a shock lighter. And uh, you can see the graphics on that. That's, that's cool. 
what this is is that it's like a cigarette lighter and it looks like a real a real lighter uh, except you put batteries in it and and it actually when you go to use it, it it shocks you and they actually give you quite a good shock I mean I had these as a kid uh, there was another item called a shock book by uh, Franco American also I think offered it and and uh, as a kid I modified it so that I added additional batteries and it really gave you a shock. I was always modifying things. You can see the directions there and the graphics on that. That's a great item. Wow, thanks, Eddie. I told Eddie I collected Franco American products. These were things that I had as a kid. And here's here's another classic. This is this is a garlic gum. So it looks like regular chewing gum, uh, but it has a terrible garlic taste. Look at the graphics on that. And they had all different types that blue mouth. This is Franco American Company, 19, looks like 1988. It's the lighting in here is just a little wacky. Eddie, you sent a lot of stuff. There's a, this was another classic item that you would see in comic books. This is 1975. Well, there were a lot of hypnosis items. And this one comes with this disc, reticular disc. It, it creates this illusion that it's spinning. Hopefully you can see that. And then look at the advertisement. I mean, you have to think about what, what is it they're trying to sell here? You get hip, lessons in hypnosis, hypnosis and, then, and then you can get people to do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, this was a, another classic item offered in comic books. <laughs> this is, uh, these are labels that you put in people's clothing you sew it in people's clothing it says per cardin i guess it it's it's supposed to look like pierre cardin i don't know if you can see what it says there but this is a joke that you put in sewed in somebody's clothes or maybe it's adhesive you put them on somebody's clothes this is the classic items that they used to offer this is a this is a taiwan item Oh, here's another classic item, right, that would be offered in comic books. Uh, this guy sneezing, and look at the graphics on that package, makes a loud noise. It's another Taiwan item. I believe these were items that Eddie sold in his magic shop when I talked to him. Oh, man. Here's another Franco item. I've seen, wow. Oh. This is, this is Franco-American company. This is Disappearing Ink. This is uh, classic items. Uh, a lot of manufacturers manufactured these, I would say. Uh, SS Adams offered these. You can see the graphics on that. The guy's got all ink on his shirt, and then it disappears after a while. Oh, that's great, Eddie. Thank you. Oh. There's another item that I, I can't, Eddie, I can't believe you have these items. This is Morning Breeze Stink Perfume. So it's a perfume bottle that, that and this is Franco-American Company also. So it looks like a perfume bottle, but the perfume really smells bad. <laughs> and I've been trying to find one of these for a long time, and I haven't been. This one is in really nice shape. Wow, thank you, Eddie. just open this up. I would never open this bottle up because who knows. And there it is. It's actually still got the perfume in there. Oh, so let me see if we can get that better. Morning Breeze perfume. This would be something, this would be a gag that you would, I would probably as a, as a kid that I would play on my sister. And, and of course I would get in trouble later on for that. <laughs> you 
because you never know what's going to be in the box when Eddie sends you something. This is a picture of, it looks like Harry Houdini maybe kissing his mother. <laughs> it's like a real photograph. That's funny. <laughs> Eddie, where do you find these things? <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. Oh, this is, uh, this is uh, Gizmo the Great. This is, uh, this is an ad, I've seen this before, um, for a robot that somebody built. I'm not sure if this is from um, an article from like a Boy's Life magazine or something like that. And so, th and so this guy actually built Gizmo. Eddie's definitely into robots. If you've ever seen on his wet, on his uh, forum, he was always talking about finding the plans for the monster robot from the Guarantee or Melton Company, and you can see the plans here. These are actually pretty good plans. These are very neat. Oh, this is a, a copy of another classic ad. This is from Honor House. Again, these are all the classic magic tricks and gags that were offered um, through Honor House. And here's the seven foot, that seven foot monster that ran for years. And there's magic tricks, all types of different things that you could get from Honor House. This is from the Honor House. And you can see that. Oh, here's actually onion gum. That was another Franco product besides the garlic gum. And of course, here's an ad for those X-ray specs, and and this is what you received when you get, when you receive these. You didn't get it in the packaging; they were usually just packaged in, in like plastic bags. The the ones that the carded ones were were sold in the store. And this is another classic, the 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 uh, phony cast. You could put it on and go to school, and tell the kids you broke your arm. And this is, oh, this is easy, this is easy magic catalog. This is, um, this is D. Robbins. I believe, yep, this has got to be D. Robbins. D. Robbins is a manufacturer. Well, they're not a manufacturer, actually. They're, they're a distributor of novelties, magic tricks, and easy magic, I think, is their trademark uh, for the stuff that they sell. So this is a this is an old catalog. Oh, this is from 1988. Let's see. Yep, these are all the classic items that you would find. Oh, actually, it's funny. I opened this up to this page. So when I was uh, in grammar school, a friend of mine's parents had a variety store in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and I worked in the store for one Halloween and for one Christmas. And uh, my friend, uh, actually his dad gave him a corner in the store where he wanted him to get used to uh, try to sell things on his own, and he was selling magic tricks. And one of the magic tricks I started purchasing, but I had these tricks, were Tenyo items. And this is actually a Tenyo item that I have um, and, and this one's probably maybe from the 70s, and D. Robbins was the distributor, and my friend was selling Tanyo magic tricks as a part of the thing, part of what he was trying. He was trying his hand at selling. And so D. Robbins was the distributor for Tanyo magic tricks. I've talked to Eddie about that, and th they're actually, they're, they're very collectible also. Here's another Tanyo magic trick. A card case that's still available. Uh, it's a classic trick. Wow, this is great, Eddie. Thank you. And here's actually the price list for the items. I'm sure these are a lot cheaper than they are now when you need to get them. Well, that looks like it. Well, well, thank you. Thanks, Eddie, for, for sending me the package. Um, I would say if you're watching this video, you should definitely check out House of the Unusual 
dot com if you're in interested in purchasing um, novelty items Eddie that Eddie is still offering. We'll talk soon. Thanks.